This life that I'm living wouldn't trade it for nothing. Pop the top off the bottle, nigga, blaze up some. Take the coke off the pot, nigga, weigh up some. Bring the block back to life, I was raised up hustling. Dolphins love me, call me the wake up man. Surround the kitchen, mouth drooling when I shake up grams. Take a full pull and shake my hand and say, God damn. Nephew, where you get that from? And when you get through cooking, let me get them crumbs. I keep A1. They all know me on the spot. Fuck selling weight. Chop the whole key in the rocks. First nigga on the block. Last nigga to leave. Under bucket with my daughter. Diaper bag full of cream. Digital triple beam. Make sure the grams ain't off. Cause in the drought, you know it's hard to get your hands on soft. Pay attention. I can show you how to do this, son. Separate the 20s from the 10s. Five from the ones. Separate the 20s from the 10s. Five from the ones. Ooh, you all see how that other one almost caught your whole brother. <laughs> you gotta pay attention. <laughs> man, what's good with y'all out there tonight, man? What's good with the people, nigga? It's your partner. Who? <laughs> it's your partner, man. How y'all doing out there, man? Is y'all still with me? Is y'all still with me, though, man? What's good out there, man? Who's still up? Be honest. You know what I'm saying? Mom said always brush with whiskers on TV. <laughs> How y'all feeling, man? Listen. This is going to be the last story I get you, man. I'm gone. How I see you, man. Y'all know how we got to do this shit now. Disclaimer. Don't promote violence. Don't promote, promote domestic violence. Don't promote racism. Don't promote crime. Please leave them people shit alone, y'all. See I done been through a lot of shit, y'all. Y'all don't want to go to jail. Please don't do none of this shit I'm talking about. Shout out to everybody around the bitch that just got one more time. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> That's Man, listen, I don't promote domestic violence. I don't promote, don't put your hands on nobody, y'all. Don't do it. I don't promote nothing negative. Not me. This ain't what I'm trying to talk to y'all about, bro. I'm trying to talk to y'all about some shit I wouldn't suggest y'all do. If you get what bro I'm talking about. Hey, but listen, bro. We ain't gonna do this shit tonight. <laughs> love y'all, bro. I see you, man. Thank y'all for all the support. Thank you for everybody who watching. <laughs> Thank you for everybody watching around the corner. I see you, man. I Thank you. As long as you got your eye on me, I appreciate it, man. If you know what I mean. Love y'all, bro. I don't promote nothing but do whatever the Whatever you're gonna do with your time, bro. Cause we don't know how much we got. This story right here gonna be the day the dolphins just owe everybody. <laughs> Y'all know what day I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like the first <laughs> you looking for <laughs> He waiting for that nigga to be <laughs> Listen, bro. <laughs> he waiting for that nigga to be in the corner that owe you the most. <laughs> he don't forgot about you. <laughs> he ain't really forgot about you. He just remembered somebody else. Listen, bro, because I'm going to tell you with that. Y'all, listen, bro. If I didn't tell y'all AF was with me, 
Y'all wouldn't even believe this shit here. Who remember Volvo, man? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get it. Hey, that's another story coming to prom. Me, Z, Lil Rube, and Ken, nigga, in the Volvo. Nah, I see. Bro, I remember everything. Listen, bro. Volvo, man. Now, let me tell y'all who Volvo, man, was. Another nigga similar to Cuz, right? You know what I'm talking about? Tight ass, 501, like, whatever he got on. The motherfuckers fitting. <laughs> it was, this is one thing y'all can't take away from Volvo Man. Volvo Man probably was the first real con man y'all knew. Hold on, bruh. Shout out Ray Ellis. Huh? First con man I knew, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna even say it was a con man. I don't know what he was. <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't gonna put no label on that, man. I just knew Ray Ellis. I see you, Kelly. <laughs> but anyway. This one of them days. If y'all know Vovo Man, y'all know Vovo Man. If you knew Vovo Man personally, bruh, You'll let Vovo Man owe you about nine fifty, and was confident that you was gonna get your nine fifty. If you know what I'm talking about. But this one of them days, Vovo Man owe thousand motherfucker. Who who remember Isaac? That tall ass black nigga. You know what I'm talking about. You used to talk hella funny. You know what I'm talking about. You used to have. Hella money on the third. <laughs> but if you didn't get that nigga on the third, <laughs> you ain't gonna see that nigga again to the third, if you know what I'm talking about. But listen, I like I told y'all about me and AF. I don't know how we always getting some shit. I'm just gonna tell you, this is the day the Dauphines owed everybody. They just didn't even owe me an AF. But the day they owed everybody, me and AF was out there looking for the motherfuckers, right? We didn't give a fuck who else they was going to pay. Because <laughs> you know what me and AF was talking about? They was going to pay us. We didn't give a fuck who else you owed. <laughs> AF, you know how you, nigga. I'm finna tell you this day, AF. Listen, bro, because the public be having me and AF fucked up. They do. I don't even know how we got wrapped up in this shit, y'all. But somehow, Vovo Man came over there with a rental. Told y'all, Vovo Man, first con man, if you didn't know Ray Ellis. I don't know what they were. You know what I'm talking about? Allegedly. You know what I'm talking about? But somehow, allegedly, <laughs> Vovo Man then went to a halfway house, knocked the bitch at the halfway house, got the bitch at the halfway house to give him a rental. I don't know what happened. Somehow we end up with the rental. Vovo man, whoo, before the work, Vovo man had good peace. It was just a good peace. But where he had fucked up somewhere, he had already signed the peace. Or so. I, I don't know how it happened, right? But this is where, and I ain't going to say this is where he fucked up because he worked his game real good, you know what I'm talking about? But this is where nigga, Vovo man been talking, he been showing everybody this check that don't, be, I'm going to tell y'all another cliche that, man, that believe what you see shit. Because you can see something right now, bruh. I can show you a check. Or a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna get into that. But I can show you something to make you believe that it's happening right now. But it already happened. You get what I'm talking about? Have you get what I'm talking about? Vovo man came with some good game, but he really wasn't no game. He just. <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna tell you where his good game was. He had already signed it and knew he was just gonna get flack wherever he went. The only thing he could do with the thing after he signed it was find somebody to drop it. He knew that. But he just kept 
flashing that motherfuckers in motherfuckers face so they can see the amount. I don't know what he did with nobody else. I'm just telling you what he did with me and AF. Y'all know that check cash in place on, I don't know if it's on East 14th, but it's on 90th. Can I tell y'all, it's like Sunday, Monday morning. Me and AF go down there. AF ain't got no brakes in his white scraper. They know me and AF there because we, <laughs> we tried to stop. We went through the stop sign, but we tried to stop. So it's not like we did this shit on purpose. But they knew we was there because we were sideways in front of the check cash in place with front wheel drive, if you know what I mean. Because we got a glance that he was up in there. We believe in it now. Now, can I tell y'all, when we get up in the 90th check cash in place, bro, this is just how a game will run you deep. It ain't just me AF up in there. It's Monique. <laughs> Max Steve. <laughs> Bruh, this nigga then collected hella motherfuckers. Like Legend of Zelda. Bruh, everybody up in here waiting for this nigga to cast this piece. They ain't gonna cast it, bruh. Woo. That's how he shake Max Steve and all them. They about ready to fire on him, rough him up, <laughs> tie him up like they did Walt. <laughs> in the check casting place, right? He get up, but you know who, who listen, because we've been dealing with Johnny, Volvo man. We know how to put pressure on him to get him somewhere else. So that's what me and AF do. We didn't got this nigga to call a allegedly bitch he knocked at the halfway house. Look, we done went to another bank. <laughs> listen, this is just how deep this shit was. Me and AF pull up to the other bank where he didn't call the bitch to come up to, nigga. Love, nigga, guess who pulled up to that bank, nigga? I don't even know how he know he was there, nigga, Cardell saying, and that big-ass white cow like, look, this is where we scared the bitch at. Me and Cardell go up in the bank. Bitch think we finna rob her. They don't. This day was so cold, bro, because it wasn't just Johnny. We still looking for ice. We just look because the Dolphins owe everybody, bro. You know what I'm talking about? We just looking for them. Y'all know how that shit is. So me and AF make a deal. AF got to go somewhere to handle some other business. He got to go hella far, so I give him the rental. AF give me this car with no brakes. So just imagine, y'all know we ain't got no license, nigga. I ain't got no license till I came out here, bro. So we, I'm driving around all day with no brakes. Come on, bro. I'm an AF car. They think I'm high side and I can't stop for real, nigga. Definition to go. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So me and AF meet back up, bro. The halfway bitch then called us, talking about meet us up at the mall. We gonna go to that bank Walt used to go to at the mall, bro. You know what me and AF do? Nigga like some Colombians or something, bro. Me and AF, they're 45 minutes up over there at Taco Bell, bro. Park, nigga, we, 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 nigga, the back to Bancroft, we Back in, nigga. Me and AF there for 45 minutes just, just to see if they was telling the truth. <laughs> they was telling the truth. But I'm going to tell you where it got scary for me. Because they came to the bank. Ooh, they throw us a mo' drag right now because they see we there. Everything cool. We ain't put them in a the headlock sleeper or whatever. So, it, it, bro, this shit felt like a kidnapping. <laughs> now... The bitch got the car, but she didn't drove her car, so she need me to drive this car. But it was some cap, bruh. Fuck it. We ain't got this money yet, bruh. You know how a nigga just, when you ain't got the money yet, bruh, wherever somebody tell you that's what you want to believe, I go out on the limb, bruh. The bitch tell me she need me to drive the car back. I follow the bitch to another bank. Can I tell you all this, bruh? This is why sometimes you got to stay put. <laughs> this is why sometimes you got to look like somebody. Somebody might want you to try their car. <laughs> but look, bro, the bitch wasn't even on no cap. I drove the bitch to the other bank. Bitch came out with a whopper. Gave me 500 mo. You know what I'm talking about? Gave me everybody money. Gave me an extra money for going there, trying to tell me hella shit about Vovo, dude, Johnny, you know what I'm talking about? But she kept it real, bro. She was just spooked right then. 
But when I got her car back, she paid me, bruh. Now watch this one, bruh. This was where, this is why I'm y'all partner, bruh. When I came back to the turf, right? The money they gave me for Pops, I wouldn't gave it to Pops. Money they gave me for AF, I wouldn't gave it to AF. I kept it, you know what I'm talking about? But I gave everybody money that them people gave me to go get it him, you know what I'm talking about? You know why I love Pops? He seen that nigga and charged him again. <laughs>